as the two-minute warning. It's our penultimate race of the night. It's the last of the five races on dirt. We've had some wide margin winners. We've had one thrilling winner on the dirt, uh, the great clash where Big Brown Bear came out on top. And it's a decent-sized field for this 1,600-metre contest. And in the dark, under the floodlights, it's time to get them called home by Craig Evans. Now the lad is on, they're being called forward, so runners coming up for the running of race number six in Imperial Past. Here's the first to go forward. G Thor now coming up towards the gates. Robin Weathers, his second start out here, is about to load up. Global is coming along. Now Eve edging up towards the gates. General Line is about to go up. So General Line goes in. Now Eve follows it mightily with the black cap is out there at the back waiting its turn also spirit of scotland with the white cap to come forward see skimmer coming along now still life marzid and uh, illusional so four more to come in that'll be three when spirit of scotland disappears into the gates area staff here have all reached for the red end jumper it's quite cool Azid is coming along and uh, Illusional will be the last after it. Mazid goes in for Richie Mullen. Illusional for Pat Dobbs coming along and they're just about ready now. 1,600 metres across the dirt. They're ready. Gates are back and they're racing. Sea Skimmer in the middle, one of the best to begin and pumped out of the gates. General Line goes forward. Illusional began well and accelerated up on the outside and Robin Weathers goes with it. Mazid, a hard ridden across. They were followed by Spirit of Scotland. Now drifting back on the inside, Sea Skimmer joined by Mightily in between horses, Naib. Next is Jew Thor as they go through the uh, dog leg. Next of all then is Globalist getting back in the field, followed by Imperial Past and back of the tail is still life. Flattening uh, down the back they go with 1,200 metres left to run and General Line shows the way. 24.74 for the first sectional. Robin Weathers up to uh, second position. Mazid got across to third. Illusional over on the fence. Naib was next of all, followed by Mightily the Black Cap. Trapped out wide is Spirit of Scotland, followed by Sea Skimmer between horses Globalist. Then still life beginning to pick up some ground out wider on the track. Imperial Past and Jew Thor is in trouble. It's back at the rear. They come to the top of the straight and General Line still shows the way. Eyeballed now by Robin Weathers as they come to the top of the straight. Mazid's been under pressure but continues to come on. Illusional's travelled quite well. Comes off the bit now and is pumped into it. They were followed next of all then by Naive as they turn and Spirit of Scotland came to the outside. Robin Weathers went to the front. 300 metres to go. Illusional begins to run on. Slightly in the pocket. Now it gets into the clear. Mazid still whacks away on the outside in Spirit of Scotland. Followed by Naib. The leader is Robin Weathers. Illusional Mazid is down the outside. Robin Weathers in front. Illusional coming on the outside. Illusional poked his nose in front of the late stages. And Illusional lands its first win in the UAE. Illusional over Robin Weathers. Then Mazid. Followed by Naib. Then came next in Spirit of Scotland. Followed by Sea Skimmer. Still life dropped out after covering a bit of ground. Globalist was the next to come in. The early leader general line well back in the run was mightily they were followed by imperial past and the last to come across the line was Jew Thor illusional takes it out Pat Dobbs and uh, Doug Watson with the uh, double on the program after big brown bear saluted two starts ago or two races ago and the wind goes the way of illusional she has getting up to uh, tip out Robin Weathers who ran a terrific race there Robin Weathers it was in the breeze, Illusional probably had a better run, although getting a little bit of kickback. So Robin Weathers has been uh, really good there and can be followed. And third goes away, Mazid, who really whacked away strongly after being in a fair bit of trouble, a fair way from home. It was sort of worked on throughout, but still found the line, which was uh, always a good sign. And Naib has run fourth. 139.49 is the winner's time. 139.49, the winner's time. Illusional breaks through for his first win in the UAE.
And it's not a win out of turn either. Real eye catching run, two starts ago from Illusional. Pat Dobbs has been on this horse all three starts so far, and now it's a winning one.